Hello friends, good morning. It is Monday. I'm tired. <laughs> and my motivation levels are very much the same as last week, but I'm going to try and power through and fight my way through the week. But anyway, I'm starting the vlog from the car because I'm actually outside the marine lab in Aberdeen, so which is beside the harbour because I'm collecting some samples, some new sponges. Um, and then I'm going to go straight to the lab and put them in the freezer and start my working day. So welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Jessica, a final year PhD student trying to battle my way through my final year and thank you for watching today's video hello i have secured the sponges so now i need to go through them and put my initials on them all so people know that they're mine and then i'm going to put them in the minus 80 freezer later in the day now i think it's almost yeah it's 20 to 3 <sighs> What have I been doing? I've been doing calculations for a lot of the day, trying to figure out how to prepare my samples for tomorrow because I'm going to be running the bioassay this week uh, because I got a big study that I really, really hope goes well because I would like to write a paper on this study. Um, but I needed to calculate how to prepare all the solutions and I can't find one of my samples and I'm really, really confused. So I got, I think it was six compounds. I bought them and they arrived, but I can't remember if the sixth compound actually arrived or not because I I can't find it in the freezer i have the other five but the sixth one i have no idea where it's gone and i don't know if it's just not come or if i put it somewhere somewhere else to keep it safe but why would i do that when all the other five are all together in the freezer so i need to go and investigate that i've been searching everywhere for this compound and i honestly just i can't find it no idea where it is it would be really useful to have for this study it's not one of the most important compounds for the study but it's still pretty important so yeah i do not know where it's gone I do not know and it was expensive as well um so i'm a bit annoyed about that also got confirmation from france because if you remember i'm going to france in june about where to stay so i was looking on airbnb because where i thought the lab was originally it's actually not there <laughs> so i've been looking at airbnbs closer to where the actual university is and they're also expensive i'm not paying for it my grant is paying well like the funding that i managed to to get is paying for it but it's difficult to find one that's suitable for a long-term stay and i'm going to be there for six weeks so i am scared to commit to anything just now because all of these long-term airbnbs you only have four to eight hours to cancel i am now preparing all of my tubes and labeling everything for the bioassay tomorrow that takes quite a lot of time and i like to be prepared the day before guys you won't believe it my compound did not arrive with the other ones it has just arrived now i'm actually going insane i swear i can't believe how stupid i am with the whole sample situation that it literally had just not arrived yet and here's me going crazy thinking that i had placed it somewhere or i had lost it or it had gone missing but no it just simply hadn't arrived if this isn't a sign that i need a proper break then i don't know what is i think i'm going crazy my brain is tired guys my brain is so tired I am now going to filter some seawater into these falcon tubes all ready for the bioassay tomorrow. A very, very boring job. I'm just going to put a podcast on and try and relax into it. Hello, hello. I am going to the microbiology lab to make my overnight cultures for the bioassay tomorrow. I've got my bacteria here. I was drying the sample that I'm going to be testing on the bioassay. These are compounds that I bought. It's the ones that I was speaking about before. And I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't know how they're supposed to look. I know some of them are supposed to be liquid and some of them are supposed to be solid, but yeah, I am not quite sure how much liquid and how much solid is supposed to be there. So I feel like something might have gone wrong, but we will see from the results how they turn out. I'm currently not convinced. I might have to repurchase a few of them because they were stored incorrectly when they first arrived because I wasn't here and I didn't realize that they had to go in the freezer. So I feel like that might have damaged some of the compounds potentially. I'm doing this for the first time and I have no idea how these compounds react. So it's very, very tricky. But for now, let's make my overnight cultures. Taking my vials out of the freezer so they can defrost. Okay. 
No one is here yet, so it's very, very dark. And I need to switch on all of the chillers so they're ready for use for when people come in. Oh, please excuse this. Look how much of a mess my bench is in. I need all of this stuff today. These are vials which I have just not wanted to clean for a very, very long time. But I need to clean them and transfer the samples back to their vials. These need to go into the cold room and let's just ignore all the other stuff. It's an accurate depiction of what my brain is looking like right now. Right, those vials need to defrost and then I can get started with the bioassay. What is going on with my hair? This is the look of a final year PhD student. Yeah, the disheveled look of a third year, third year, final year. Oh, I don't even know what year I'm in anymore. Right, I'm gonna to chat to you as I switch on all of the chillers. So you're gonna hear a loud noise every time I switch one on. Why is it not working? There we go. Uh, yeah, so today is bioassay day. So I need to be focused this morning. Need to prepare the samples correctly. Need to make sure I put the samples in the correct wells in the 96 well plate. And yeah, I just need to make sure everything goes to plan. But I can't remember if I mentioned yesterday, but one of the samples seemed like there was just nothing inside the vial when I dried it under the nitrogen yesterday. So that's concerning, but I'm still gonna run the assay anyway. And maybe it was there, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to have 50 milligrams and it definitely did not look like there was 50 milligrams inside of the vial. So I'm not sure what has happened there. Um, so I need to go and check what I've actually ordered to make sure I've ordered the right thing. Cause it was a bit confusing because it gave like the concentration of the compounds but then so i gave like let's say for example 10 micrograms per ml but i didn't have one ml of solution inside the vials so i need to go and figure out what's going on because i'm highly confused and this could really affect my results basically so i need to go and figure that out compounds are defrosting i need to check on the bacteria that were growing overnight in the incubator to make sure that the overnight cultures have actually worked and then we can start making the samples I have removed my cultures, which are looking nice and cloudy, and I'm in the middle of preparing the samples just now, so we are well underway. many things as always wish me luck please let's hope it goes well hello it is a little bit later on now i have finished with the bioassay i've had lunch i now need to prepare new glycerol stocks of my bacteria because i think they're starting to not be the same as before um whatever that means but their appearance uh, on the plates is looking slightly different uh, they're getting the colonies are getting smaller which i mean thinks that the glycerol stocks are not so good anymore so i'm preparing new ones from the overnight cultures that I prepared for the assay today. Uh, do you want to see my new pins, by the way? So this will be back to front because I'm using my front camera, but when I went to my conference in California, I got this Ventura pin with the shark on it because Ventura was where the conference was. I have this nice uh, she, her badge with my pronouns on it. And I guess you guys have seen these ones before. This one was from Edinburgh Zoo because Edinburgh Zoo has pandas. This one was from a powerful posters uh, workshop that I went to. And this one is from Chamonix, France, where I went skiing just before Corona times. Yeah, so I'm gonna prepare the glycerol stocks and then Federica, I think, is gonna show me how to put inert gas, so unreactive gas, nitrogen or helium, into my samples to help them stay stable for longer. So I will take you guys along when we do that. My glycerol stocks are prepared and now I'm going to put them in the minus 80 or the minus 79 freezer so I can store my cells safely and use them again in the future. <laughs> I'm so scared in case this balloon pops, honestly. <laughs> I started to, this is not off, this is not off. Close it, close it, close it. So this is the thing that's over. This is gonna pop. This is gonna 
Yeah, I'm trying to see which one is the way. Is that enough? Yes, that's yeah, more than yeah, enough. Well, we will go with that. I'm so, Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Hopefully, you can hear me because the shaker is shaking. Uh, yesterday, I didn't really have anything to show because I went to my other office and was just working on the computer all day because I had to do some edits of a paper that I'm writing and now I'm back in the lab today I went to the gym this morning which was good get the endorphins going for the day but yeah I don't know what's been going on but I think I'm getting a bit sick because my stomach has been really sore so I don't know if I'll be here all day today or if I'll head home early so I can rest but Today is bioassay cell washing day, so that will means that the bioassay has run oops, its course and I get to wash all of the wells and tomorrow we will get the data from the, for the bioassay. So we have to keep our fingers crossed that everything has gone to plan because this is a really, 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 really important study for my PhD. So for now I am filtering seawater that I need to use for washing the wells and I still have another hour and I'm tempted to check the plates. So when I check the plates, I will let you know how they look. I need to change the filter. <laughs> Much better. Hi guys, it's Friday. I'm taking my plates to biological sciences so I can get the readings from the bioassay this week. However, they look terrible. I am really not convinced that my results are gonna be good and I know I shouldn't be sending out like this negative energy before I even get the data but I can tell from looking at the color, the purple colors of the wells and the intensity of them just from looking that they don't look good which is so annoying. So I'm already feeling um, disheartened before I've even got the results. I need to stop doing this. I do this all the time. I look at them and I'm like, yep, they're rubbish before I even get the data. But usually I'm right. So we shall soon see. Update on how I am feeling currently. Still very tired, still very demotivated and still trying my best to just power through. But all I can say is thank God it's Friday and after five o'clock, it'll be the weekend. Ah, the library. Right, I'll check in with you guys once I've got the data, probably once I've analysed it all as well. And we'll see where we stand with the bioassay this week. So I acquired the data, saved all of my Excel files, and like I thought, it looks rubbish. I am yet to actually like analyse the data and make my graphs and stuff, but just from looking at the values, comparing the controls and the samples, no. Something has gone horribly wrong somewhere, and I have no idea what it is. So I'm annoyed. Happy Friday. Honestly, my brain is not working. I completely forgot to collect the solvents and there is no store open on Monday. So we need to get enough solvents for the weekend and for Monday. My brain is not working, guys. I need the weekend. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what I've recorded this week, so I really hope that I have enough footage to make up a weekly vlog. Like I say, this week's just been a bit crazy and my head has not really been in the game, so hopefully I actually took some videos of some experiments. I really can't remember. Anyway, I hope you have all had a lovely week and thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!